Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich playing as the Russians. We are basically demolishing Germany right now. I'm being kind of overly aggressive at the moment, um, trying very badly to take over whatever we can along here. The collapse of the Reichspacht. Wait, what? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. The game just froze up. It sounds like something just happened to the faction and now the game is actually completely frozen. Nope, 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 nope. It was just a peace deal with some people. Hang on, there we go. Okay, so Cuba and the Empire of Japan, Morocco, Bulgaria, Sweden, two Sicilies. A lot of people just ended some stuff with Japan. And apparently I just ended hostilities with a bunch of people myself. Sorry? Hold on. So who am I fighting? No, I'm still fighting all the... Okay. So apparently some of the people of the Reichsbacht, namely the people overseas, just ended their hostilities with me for some reason. Okay, they've left the Reichsbacht. Yes, the faction is indeed dead. So the Reichsbacht has officially completely fallen apart, which really leaves Austria left. And if Austria wants to um, have uh, cease and hostilities, well, I say too bad. I still plan on killing you because I want to kill you. So yeah, not worried about that. But yeah, okay, cool. We killed their faction. It doesn't really functionally change anything for me, but I guess we get to say that we finished that. So cool. Huh, I really should have read that event. Uh, I didn't expect it to mean anything. I was a fool for not doing so. Clearly it was important. Well, I mean, I guess if Germany's not here to carry the torch, it makes sense then that, yeah, indeed, they would in fact be done. And that ends things. But not with Germany, just with some of the other participants in the war. I'm not sure how this happens, but with the collapse of the Reichsbacht, apparently I'm gonna get to just eat like all of Eastern Europe. Okay, and I have, like, all the war score as well. So this is going to get fun because I'm going to have to deal with a lot of annexation in a little bit. Uh, we're going to take all of Azerbaijan, of course, and all of Georgia, just so I don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. I want to have some borders to use against the Ottomans in the future. Uh, I would love to eat all of Ukraine, probably. So we'll go ahead and take all those states. Looks like we can do that. We'll just try to full annex Poland. That's done. How about Lithuania? Yeah. Yeah. That leaves Denmark, which I have a lot of points left, but surely in a minute it's going to tell me I can't take any more. Nope. End turn. Shanghai, hello. Now that's something I wouldn't mind taking over. Yeah, I'll take this, why not? And done. So I got 59 states, we're still at war with a bunch of people, but now I actually just get to move on to start building up some compliance and say I'm done with that. We're going to get a lot of events saying, do you want to annex or release people as puppets? And we're going to have to start releasing puppets. No way around that, still. Pretty cool, right? Me think so. Can you get up to Stuttgart and then get over here to Munich like I originally asked for? Could you do that please? That'd be great. We're going to get Nancy, and there goes the German Empire. And boom. Just like that. Okay, well, I can't puppet them, because that's turned off in Kaiserreich. You have to annex as much territory as possible, and then decide if you're going to uh, partition or outright annex or puppet them. I'm going to start slowly working my way over here, trying to take over where I think his main factories are going to be. We know we have plenty of collaboration. I'm pretty sure Saxony will have a fair bit. Lots of steel there, which I covet. Fair bit down there, but I can't take that much. Okay, hang on. Take that. Okay, they took Bavaria. Annoying. Pass. Yeah, that finishes it. Okay, so France, after all of that, will get two states. Nancy and Upper Bavaria. And the rest of this now belongs to me. Victory is mine. We have our revenge, I think. All right, there's a lot of fates to worry about now. That'll be fun. Let's go to the Legation Cities. Uh, I am probably just going to go ahead and reinstate the Legation Council. It does not say that they're going to be my vassal, but honestly, they're so minor, I don't feel like losing some stability and stuff, so we're going to just go ahead and reinstate that. Okay, we did that, and we get some political power, we guarantee them. And we go back to Fruits of the Open Door, which means we get consumer goods reduction, which is honestly pretty darn valuable to me. So, there we go. That's done. Okay, uh, let's see. Fate of Denmark, I will probably go ahead and turn into a vassal. We could liberate them as a republic or as a monarchy. Either way, they become my puppet. I think we'll just go ahead and liberate them as a monarchy. So we have a monarchist Denmark. That's my vassal. Kurdistan, Georgia. Kurdistan. 
Not Azerbaijan. Interesting. Well, this I know I want to annex. Give to the Ottoman Empire. That's hilarious. No. Uh, military occupation in this case is justified. I want the oil. Georgia, I don't care about. We can make this into a puppet. I'm going to lose a lot of base stability out of this, which sucks. We have, still have a war to win. We're not done yet. We're not out of the woods. So, let's go ahead and change up some of these armies. Are we fighting against Switzerland? We are, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to get down here. But most of this is going to be very well contained. We also want to finish off the Netherlands and Brussels real quick. Belgium. Okay, that's a bit cleaner. That's going to take me a little bit of time to reorganize all the forces, but that should be fine. I am going to be using almost exclusively my Space Marine infantry to try and go into Switzerland because tanks terrible in the Alps. Absolutely awful. So what I would love to do is use my artillery and heavy tanks to punch through mountains until we can get to some more clear ground, at which point I'm going to use my tanks to finish them off. But the good news is we have plenty of room in Bohemia and Hungary for my tanks to operate for a bit. We need to take out Austria. That's going to be the next big uh, foe for me, I do think, because they control the next faction we have to kill, which is the Donau Adria Bund, or Bund, the Bund, I don't know, the Bund? The Bund, yes, that reminds me of my good old uh, EU4 Poland days. And by EU4 Poland days, what I mean is the grandest land that I did about a year and a few months ago in Poland. One of the most fun experiences I've ever had. If you haven't seen the little two video series I did of my experience in that, I really recommend you check it out. It was so stinking fun. But yeah, I played in the German Bund, that's what we did. Kaiser Wilhelm II is dead. The German Empire has died of a pulmonary embolism. Wow, okay, well, I mean, I guess he didn't live long to see Germany be subjugated, so I feel sort of happy for you, I guess. I don't know. No, I feel bad. That's a mean thing to say. Regardless, though, the German Kaiser is dead, but he's the emperor of nothing at this point. Uh, what do we want to go for for our next big national focus? Um, I think I will go ahead and grab the upgrade for our submarines. Sub-3 is pretty darn good. We might as well make some of the best ones we can. We'll want to go for some upgrades to our snorkel, though, if we are going to do that, because upgraded snorkels are pretty good. There we go, making some good spearheads into Belgium. Don't think they're going to last that much longer. Looks like the Netherlands will be taken over by the Union of Britain. Which is annoying, because it means that once the Union of Britain eventually does get knocked out when the Third International falls, I'm going to have to worry about the Netherlands again, so I probably should keep some troops up here just to be safe. But at least for the moment, I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Uh, we did snag Brussels, no problem. Can we get up into Antwerp? Because that's the thing that really matters the most. Looks like we're going to clear these guys out over there. Perfect. Send some more troops up there. There we go. Can you guys get all the way up into Middleburg and then into Rotterdam? The answer should be yes. Send some of these guys up here toward Antwerp as well. There we go. Lots of forces they're sitting on over here, but it frankly doesn't matter too much. I'm shocked that Belgium still has not capitulated because at this point, 90 some percent of their country is gone. But A-okay. Uh, there goes Antwerp. Now they have no choice. Say goodbye to them. And that ends the war with Belgium, and they're not a part of a faction, so we can just go ahead and eat them. Pass. Pass. Really? You're just gonna let me take Belgium entirely? Okay. Thanks, France. I guess I'll just eat all of Belgium then. Sure, whatever. Why not? Tanks! Finish off the Netherlands too! Factories, what else do I want? Well, now we absolutely should be going to our 40 combat widths and swapping these guys out for the raw, soft attack of the self-propelled artillery. At least a couple of them. We could actually remove even more tanks and go for a bit more, but this increases my soft attack a pretty good amount. As far as um, self-propelled guns, we have enough in storage. We'll go ahead and do that right now. I would like some logistics companies. Obviously, that would be quite good. Uh, my 20 combat wits, we could do something similar. I could swap you out for some self-propelled artillery. That I don't think we have enough guns for, though, so we're not going to worry about that right now. What else do we want to do, then, as far as my factories are concerned? Uh, well, we haven't really researched anything new and exciting. Um, what are we missing as far as reinforcements? Or, sorry, not reinforcements, upgrades. We are mostly missing... Anti-air, artillery, and infantry equipment. All right, infantry equipment it is. Let's go for some upgrades there. Of course, that means we need even more steel. And I can trade at least a little bit with the United States for that. And then we'll go for a little bit with the Union of Britain, I suppose. The Netherlands is dead. Oh. Okay, Dutch East Indies. Well, I'm not going to get much in the way of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just pass a bunch and see if we can get... Nope, that's it. Okay. Japan takes everything. I didn't think I was going to get anything there. That's fine. Once I end up killing, uh, Japan... What? Why am I able to take this now? What? 
Japan took this. It's not for sale. Apparently it is. What? I guess I'll demand this for myself. Um, do I really care about the Netherlands proper? I mean, is there anything up here I want? No, this is just... This is just gonna cost me points for no gain. I, I'm just gonna have to worry about partitioning them later. Let's just go ahead and pass a bunch and see if we can demand stuff here. I don't see how this works. I don't think I'm actually gonna get control of any of this. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look at some more fates over here. Luxembourg, I don't care about. Um, we're gonna go ahead and liberate. Greater Luxembourg, they get Wallonian Luxembourg, huh? All right, sure, why not? Greater Luxembourg gets released. Belgium, I think we go ahead and... We could liberate two different nations that are partitioned, or we can just go ahead and have them as one. I think I'll just go ahead and keep them as one. Uh, Loyal United Flanders Wallonia, so that's mine now. The Rhineland! Ah, okay. So if we don't do anything about this one, this is going to hurt. A lot of these are going to hurt. Um, Azerbaijan, I thought I already... I thought I already dealt with these. Apparently not. Oh, crud. Okay, these I have to reintegrate. It's going to take 20 political power, but no stability loss, which is great. Rhineland, a Rhenish Republic, or release it as part of a larger North German state. I don't think so. I think I'd rather just go ahead and release a loyal Rhenish state. Which is this right here. Huh. That's kind of cool. We are going to have to worry about White Ruthenia and the Baltic States and Ukraine and stuff in a little bit. I guess we could go ahead and just do it now. Yeah, let's take a look. White Ruthenia. This does not cost me any um, stability, so I'm going to go ahead and reintegrate them. Ukraine. 100 political power. Reintegrate. Uh, Baltic States. Integrate. Poland. This one would cost me, so we'll go ahead and make them into a puppet. I just don't feel like losing any of the stability. We're now in the hole when it comes to our um, political power, I'm aware. But at least we've dealt with all the emergency situations. And I actually was able to just take a lot of the land for myself and keep it. So if we can get our uh, compliance up, I'm hoping we will get to actually core the territory later. Do we actually get a puppet? It actually did give me all this territory. What the crap? How'd that happen, Japan? All right, puppet. Sure, why not? Insulindia. I'll make a really cool Islamic state of Insulindia as a puppet or something. They are my puppet, right? Yeah, they're my puppet. Huh. Alsace or Alsace Lorraine. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and create once again. Oh, we can give it to Renania. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but all right. We'll give them a tiny bit of territory over here. They're probably going to keep chipping away at the rest of the German states until they're like all puppets, right? It's okay if that's the case. It really is. It's just slightly annoying. But whatever, whatever. We'll just go ahead and hand it all off. And actually, you know what? Despite the fact that I can't fight in Mountains Worth Squad... Ah, okay, I was going to say, let's go ahead and try to just do a little uh, surround down here and kick these guys off. But no, never mind. Never mind, we encountered Resistance. I don't like Resistance, so we're going to go ahead and ignore that fight. Um, okay, so with Vienna down, let's go ahead and just work on this side of the river for a little bit. You grabbed all this, congrats. Go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Let's control some more over there. You are going to head down to Graz. We're gonna try to just go ahead and apply some serious pressure on Austria as before they can mass reinforce. Because at this point, we've already been able to just pierce through their lines. They've lost their capital. If we use you guys to say, hold down a couple of units like this, we might be able to use my tanks to just go ahead and quickly grab the victory points and just end Austria. Hungary is gonna have to die somehow. We could go to Budapest right now, and I don't see why not. Let's just go ahead and do that. They don't have enough units to actually like make me feel penalized for spreading my units out like this, so why not? All right, there goes the Invisible Navy. We could go for Mine Warfare Tech. I don't really want that. Um, let's go ahead and grab things like the VVSR. We'll start working for some uh, extra research bonuses for better fighters and air doctrines and Whatever the heck else. I don't I don't see why not at this point. Like so. Still haven't finished that. Bohemia then capitulates. Thank you. All right, now it is cleanup duty. That makes my life easier. And there goes the Austrian Empire. They had practically no equipment left. And that does indeed end that war with that faction. Hoo-hoo, boy. All right, so I got the bulk of the war score, which means I should be able to do pretty much whatever I want over here. Um... Let's start by taking over Switzerland so France can't have it. Then we're going to take over, I guess, Bohemia. And we're going to end that turn. 
Socialist Italy took a little territory down here. I find that irritating, but not a big deal. I would love to take over Greece, because that gives me a new launching platform against the Ottomans in a much better area instead of going through all the mountains. So I want to take Greece. Let's pass to get some points. No one else took anything. Let's go ahead and grab all of Greece. Uh, let's grab the rest of Illyria. It's pretty cheap. Let's see if I can grab the rest of the Austrian Empire. The answer is no. So don't worry about that yet. Let's instead grab the coastal territory. So Socialist Italy can't take any of those. I'll end here. Okay. Can't see if they took anything else. It looks like the answer is no. We'll pass again. Get some score. You took Central Hungary. Do you know how annoying you are sometimes, France? I just want to point out. Do you know how annoying you really are sometimes? Okay, well, let's just go ahead and finish off Austria. That's easy. Galicia? I can't take that. All right, we'll just go ahead and start working our way down Hungary, I suppose. And prevent France from really enjoying anything else there. Uh, this should all be mine. They don't really have much. I'm going to end up creating a lot of vassals, I'm pretty sure. There's really not much for me to enjoy here. All right, take all that, and that's it. Okay, so we lose two states out of the arrangement there. We have a little bit of border gore. Just a little bit. But, all in all, can't say it was that bad. So that's a whole load more of Europe that I am done with. How many factories do I have now? 231. Not as much as I might have expected. Uh, the fate of Prussia. Oh. But I want to keep Prussia. All right, hang on. Release Prussia as a puppet or keep it. That's a... Ah, uh, I can't do that. We have to release him as a puppet. Great. Okay, well, Prussia. You know, Prussia's... Pr I, I mean, I like Prussia. Hi, Prussia. Unfortunate. All right, 55 more states that I'm going to have to start releasing. But that's okay. Hey, question. Am I able to demand Bessarabia now? Yes, if I had any political power, I absolutely could demand it from Romania. And if they don't give it to me, I just get to go to war and finish them off. Nice as that would be. I have nothing to work with. Good lord, this political power is going to hurt me. I think it's time to go ahead and send the tanks to go and finish off uh, Sweden and such. So we're going to go ahead and give them this. And a front line to basically just go ahead and crush everything in sight. I know it says they can't do that, but they'll find a way. I have faith. And here come a whole bunch more decisions to decide the fate of a lot of places. Ugh. Okay. Well, I think we're just going to have to release everybody, basically. Start with Austria. We're going to go ahead and liberate them. Let them become my puppet. Thank you. Okay, so we'll take care of that. Fate of Greece. We're going to liberate them as a kingdom. Might as well have them of my ideology, right? Switzerland. Liberate and become my puppet. West and East Prussia. Give it to the Republic of Poland. Huh, we can decide who to give it to. You know what? I'm going to give it to Poland for fun. There, you take that. How's that? How's that? That sound good? Wait, that's Western Prussia. Then where's East Prussia? Let's find out. Give it to Prussia. Wait, I, oh, we just created more border gore. I hate it. I hate it. I hate what I did. I hate it. I hate it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, let's give this to Poland. There we go. We can clear out some of that. Posen, give it to Poland. Okay, so at least we cleared out some of this nonsense. The fate of Northern Germany. Oh, goody. Release a new German state. Okay. And Upper Silesia. Poland? Poland. I've been to Silesia. Uh, in Poland, so I think that makes sense. Okay, so we cleared out some of the border gore. And created some more. I mean, we still have to worry about this for some reason. Why is Northern Schleswig still under my control? I don't know. There's a little confusion. There's a little confusion. But, that clears out a little bit. These guys are all my loyal little vassals. Which is just fine and dandy. Any more people we have to decide the fate of? Until it recalculates? Probably not. Where are my tanks when I need them? Great question. Uh, light blue, or bluish color. Let's go ahead and give you an offensive line in case maybe you can get across the straight and do something to upset the Swedes. Because that would obviously be very helpful. My troops should be getting into position to go and take out... Oh, actually, I think Norway may have lost... I think they might be losing their only supply points. Why can I not get up here in an easier route? Whatever, I... Oh, because I haven't called in Finland. Right. Well, it's probably time for me to be calling in Finland. Let's go ahead and get my troops up in position, though. Finally call Finland into the war and feed them Sweden. 
The, the, the Finns can finally be a part of Scandinavia. That'll make them happy, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and here come a load more fates. Uh, okay. Fine. Uh, Croatia. Not losing stability over that. Liberate. Northern Schleswig. Oh, good. We can finally give that to Denmark. Cool. Galicia. Uh, let's create a new... Well, let's see. Split them with Poland? That's going to cost me a bit. I could give it all to Poland. Give it all to Poland! Why not? Poland gets to have a bit of fun. Northern Epirus. Give it to Greece. I don't know what that is. Gumbinin. Give it to Prussia? Sure. That's something up over here, apparently. Transylvania. Give it to Romania. Why? No, Transylvania gets to be its own independent nation. I'm not allies with Romania. What are you talking about? Trent. Give it to Austria. I'm not going to give it to Italy. That doesn't make any sense. And Bohemia, we will create Czechoslovakia or Czech Bohemia itself. Um, I don't think it makes a difference, to be honest. I think it's the same thing. It's just going to be known as Czechoslovakia. Let's just go ahead and create Czechoslovakia. Why not? That'd be fine. Cool, look at that. Ah, oh, good. Even more independent, uh, not independent, even more nations that we're going to have to integrate someday. And that still leaves a whole lot over here that we're going to have to worry about. Württemberg and whatnot. Franconia, Lower Bavaria. We still haven't figured out what we're doing with the rest of Hungary. Oh, gosh, there's still going to be more decisions. <laughs> I just want a blob. I just want to keep it all. Please, let me just keep it. Be nice. We can, however, now integrate Ukraine at least. So that's going to be 20 more states that are going to be mine. Thank you for that. That's great. I was really hoping the collaboration was going to result in me owning all of Germany. I could have released Germany as, like, one really big, powerful ally state, which is fun. But it's also kind of fun just to partition the crud out of it, you know? How many games do you get to see a Romania or a Prussia in Hoi 4? Not often. Not often at all. So it's a fun little change of pace, I think. And here comes some more decisions. Well, we can integrate White Luthania. Let's go ahead and create some more cores there. Bosnia. Uh, give it to Croatia. Why not? Let's just eliminate some of the nonsense of the uh, border gore down over here. Um, Slovenia. We can give it to Austria. Sure, why not? We'll give them that. Uh, this I'll give to Croatia, and this I will give to... We can assimilate. Claim gained by the Russian Empire. Was it not already mine? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I already occupied it, but somehow I got a claim on Summit. I don't know. The border gore down here is killing me. I hate it. I hate it so much. How are we doing in terms of logistics? We have used up quite a bit of equipment. We actually need a lot more self-propelled artillery. Just because I am training up a few more of these 40 combat wits. We don't even have enough to deploy this next one. So it's going to be pretty important for me to go ahead and finish this. We're producing a few per day, so I can't imagine that's going to take that much longer, but alright. We're clearing up some of this nonsense, finally. Which is good, so if we can just grab the supply port, they'll have nothing left over there. The Union of Britain is going to probably take out the rest of Norway, which is annoying. They're kind of losing ground once against, uh, again against Canada. So we'll see how far that goes. The Batavian Commune, they've also joined the Third International. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, Red Army, are you arriving? They are arriving. Good, good, good. Okay, well, it means it's probably time for me to go ahead and call in... Ah, I want to get some organization first. Well, we did manage to get this, at least. So let's go ahead and start... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go ahead and start clearing all this nonsense out. You guys have no supplies coming in, so this should be easy. Let's just go ahead and clear out some more of this. Tighten the noose a little bit. Uh, Finland, we just call you in now? I mean, we may not have the most organization, but I think it's probably enough to go ahead and start beating down Sweden. Let's see. You probably have at least a couple of units over here. Probably? Eh. Eh. Even so, I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and call in Finland, finally. We're going to call you into both of my wars. They will accept, of course, because they are loyal Finns. And red, go, push. Find space, kill. Hey, look, we found space. Why aren't you using your mobile power to your advantage? Because you're stupid, that's why. Uh, let's go up here and get across this river, and we'll go over this way. And that will be the end of them, because they'll have nothing left. Sweet! I mean, seriously, you can just encircle all the units up here. You don't have to... Wait on my account. Hey, goody! We finally get some uh, motorized. We'll go ahead and send them to go join up. That'll make it a little bit easier to keep up. And blue, you know what? If you see an opportunity to go ahead and push, and it looks like the answer is definitely yes, they have a single infantry holding back against 24 divisions. You might be able to push in from the south and give them something to cry about. That'll be great. And here we go against the assault of Sweden. Can I set you to be aggressive? Let's go ahead and set you to be aggressive right now. Have the rest of the armies arrived down in the Balkans? 
The answer appears to be yes. All right, it means it's time for you guys to go. Kill Albania, kill Bulgaria. We're gonna go ahead and kick them the heck out of here. And I don't know what we're gonna do about the two Sicilies. Um, honestly, I wish they would just peace out, but they won't do that. Uh, Russian-Albanian war? Germany, yeah, they're all considered major war participants. I literally can't get them to leave. Like, I have to go fight in East Asia? Like, do you think I really want to go over here and fight by Siam? Like, obviously I don't. So please stop making stupid decisions. Like, I, they're not they're not a major war nation. They're not a major nation. It shouldn't count. Finish up with some of our first trade interdiction. Now we'll go ahead and grab the surface visibility reduction. And that should be all that I plan on getting down there, honestly. I don't see any advantage to anything else. Hey, can we just make a push directly down to Stockholm? Because I kind of feel like you guys have literally nothing against to stop me with. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set you to aggressive, because I see nothing in the south either. So honestly, I say at least one of you guys. Let's just go ahead and move up here to Gothenburg and stuff, and let's just start eating up all of Sweden. I don't know. Maybe we'll split it up between Finland and Denmark for the heck of it. I don't know. We have to kill Norway, too. But that'll finish off all of that. Two Sicilies. How am I going to deal with all of you? Albania is on its way out. That should be pretty quick. We could go for the naval invasion down here, I suppose. Once I take out Sweden, I'm going to go ahead and move the navy down here. I don't think there's going to be very many naval forces that can contend with me down in the Mediterranean. And we're going to see if we can start actually making use of them a little bit. Have we managed to produce, like, any of our desired ships? I have no idea. Austrian Littoral. We'll go ahead and hand it over to Austria or to Croatia. Great question. Down over here, and I'm going to hand... Well, wait, no. What is this? What state is this? That's Transnubia. This is... That's Austrian literal. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hand that off to Austria. Nice clean borders down there. And West Bennett, we could give it to Serbia. No. Croatia? Yes. Or Transylvania? Mm, you know what? Transylvania. Why not? We'll give them that one right there. That one's really cute. Hey, did we finish up with our... Uh, collaboration indeed we did so now we can take a look at collaborations right here and see that we would have 80 percent collaboration with the ottomans if i can take all their territory that's a lot mm -hmm. it also reduces their capitulation level by 24 percent which means killing the ottomans is now going to be extremely easy okay we have a couple more spies we can work with do we want to go ahead and try preparing a collaboration government in japan i think the answer to that is yes and you guys have been so darn effective up to this point, I'm just going to go ahead and have you guys do the same job. It's really been great. Nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and try getting some collaboration built up with Japan so I can easily take them out in the future. All right, so this is a good place for me to end this video. We've managed to finish off the entirety of the Reichsbacht in mainland Germany over here and most of Eastern Europe. That leaves only Italy, Sweden, Norway, and then some stuff I really don't feel like dealing with down in Southeast Asia. We'll have to eventually. There goes Albania, by the way. So we'll go ahead and just take all their states and say goodbye. But yeah, so we made some really good progress in all of that. We'll finish up Scandinavia. We'll have to find a way to kill Italy. We'll merc our way down over here. And then we need to take out Japan. Japan's the last major uh, uh, enemy that I think I have to worry about before we'll end up this series. I don't really plan on fighting the Entente. I don't really see any advantage to that. But if we can take out the Ottomans in Japan, I'd say that's good enough for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and do it.